Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Doxy here with another video for you guys today. Today, the video is going to be on LSPDFR. I am going to be showing you guys how to install EUP menu along with search and rescue and law and order. So let's get straight into this video. Okay, guys, a couple things you guys are going to need. Make sure you guys have open IV. I am not going to be installing that in this tutorial. If you guys have been following my LSPDFR tutorials, you should already have it installed. So we're going to go over the requirements of what we're going to need to do this. All right. So go ahead and click the first link into the description, which is going to take you over here to EUP menu. What you're going to do is go ahead and hit download this file, agree and download. And then we are going to wait until the timer counts down. Once the timer is counted down, we are going to move this to the desktop, just like we always do. OK, guys, let's move this over to the desktop, which it already is because I preset up this video. The next download link in the description is going to take you guys over here to emergency uniforms pack. OK, this is going to be serve and rescue 1.5. Go ahead and hit download this file. You're going to want the OVI installer. Go ahead and hit, hit download. OK, this download will take a while. So, you know, just pause the video and then wait till it's done. Next one we're going to do is going to be the next download in the description. Well, next link in the description, which is going to be emergency uniform pack law in order 9.3.1. Go ahead and hit download this file. And you're going to want the OVI installer. Go ahead and hit download. This is another one that's going to take a long time. Like I said, it's almost a gigabyte. Okay. Once those are downloaded, make sure you guys go ahead and move them over here to your desktop. So you guys got EUP menu. You guys should have a file called EUP law and order. And then another one called EUP search and rescue. All right. So as long as you got these three here, we're going to go to the next link in the description, which is going to take us over here to Rage Native UI. This is 1.9.2. Very important that you guys download this because sometimes you guys accidentally put the wrong Rage in when you guys are installing mods, and that's where you guys have these issues at. So anyway, just go ahead and hit the download on the Rage Native UI zip. Once that's done, you're going to also drag that on over to your desktop. I already have, so I'm not going to drag it over just to show you it's the same one. Rage Native UI, Rage Native UI. It's literally saying number three. It's the third time I downloaded it. Okay, next link in the description is going to be script hook V. Go ahead and click on script hook V. Once you guys come to the page like this, go ahead and hit download. Now, this is one of those things that you guys can discard if you guys have already been following my tutorials, okay? If you guys have already been following my tutorials that are labeled 2024, you guys have already put in the latest version of script hook V, okay? Unless I have a video out saying, hey guys, script hook V just updated, there's no need to update this, okay? You guys can always go ahead and join our Discord too. We'll put out updates on Discord when something like this will happen, along with game updates that may require you to revert back to previous game versions. So let's go ahead and move forward. Once you guys have all these things downloaded, you guys are going to move it to the desktop. So you guys should have your Rage Native UI, your EUP menu. Oop, let me go ahead and get Script V real quick, even though I already have it. Go ahead and hit keep. If it ever does ask you to keep it, keep it. It's not a virus. Drag to your desktop. All right. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do. All right, for Steam users, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to actually go into your file explorer, okay? And then you guys are going to go to this PC, the drive that you have Grand Theft Auto on, program files, we're going to go down to Steam, and then we're going to go down to Steam apps, and then common, and then right here is where our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directories will be, okay? I got a clean version, and then I got a modded version that I'm using now. Okay, guys, so... If you guys are on Epic Games or any other platform, there will be a link in the description pretty much showing you your guys' file paths. But um, as far as Steam, this is how you guys will get to your file path, okay? So what we're going to do inside of here is we are going to open up EUP menu. X out of whatever WinRAR pops up with. Go to Files. Inside of here, as you guys can see, this is dated 8-1-2021. We do not want to put this in our game, okay? This will cause your game to crash. So what we want to do is just take this plugins folder and we're going to drag and drop this plugins folder to our main game directory just like that, okay? Once done so, inside there you're going to see an EUP menu.dll. Just confirm it's there by clicking on your plugins folder and you guys should see it right there, EUP menu.dll. This folder is not going to pop up until after you've launched EUP, okay guys? So you might see this folder here and you're like, whoa, why do I have this? It's because I've already played on my version of Grand Theft Auto right now with EUP, okay? So that's why I have this. So you guys will have the same once you launch it the first time. What we're going to do now is go ahead and exit out of this WinRAR. We're going to go to the next one, which is going to be for the um, Rage Native UI. Okay, guys, we're going to skip past the two OVIs. 
because those are going to need we're going to need um, open IV for those so we're going to go right over here to rage native UI now we're going to need to go back to common click inside of Grand Theft Auto 5 is main directory and then from here what we are going to do is we are going to take the rage native UI dot DLL and the rage native UI dot XML and we are going to move those two files into our main game directory okay this is just to ensure that you guys have the updated version as you can see it's dated 2 5 2023 okay way more updated than the last one we were just using drag and drop okay all you guys gotta do these two files drag and drop right in main game directory once you guys have done that um we can move on to script hook v okay if you guys already have this like i said discard but moving over to script hook v we're going to stay in our grand Theft Auto 5 main directory we're going to go over to ben and then inside of here, we're going to take these um, two files here, okay? So this, this DIN put 8.dll and the script hook v.dll, these two files, okay? How we're going to do that is we're going to hold control and then just click the other one. Make sure this one's not highlighted and then drag and drop them into your main game directory, okay? Right over here in the open area, okay? So that way it doesn't go in no folder or nothing like that, right in the main game directory, okay? We don't want the native trainer because we have already installed the simple trainer if you guys have been watching my tutorials. So go ahead and click out of that. Now we're done with the main game directory. We can go to the next side of that. What we're going to do now is open up OpenIV. We're going to open up our Grand Theft Auto 5. Go to Mods. Actually, no, we're not going to go to Mods. We're going to go to Tools. You guys are going to go to ASI Manager. Make sure you guys have all of these installed, okay? And then hit Close. Then you're going to go back to Tools. You're going to go to Package Installer. And now you're going to find this file here. This is the file you want to download. Just click on it and then hit open. Okay. Hit install on this. Just like so. You're going to want to select mods folder. Just like so. And then you're going to want to hit install. Okay, guys. I already have this installed. So I'm not going to do it twice. That may cause my game to tr the crash. Okay. So I don't want to do it twice. It's already installed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to X out of that. That's how you, you guys are going to go ahead and proceed by, you know, continuing with installing it. That's all you got to do. Okay. And then once it's done, you just close out of it and then go to the next one. You're going to go to tools, package installer, and then install your, your other OVI, which is going to be for your search and rescue. Okay. Same process. You're going to double click on it. You're going to hit install. You're going to select your mods folder. And then hit install. This is confirming it. Then once it says succeeded and all that, all you got to do is just exit out of this, okay? That's it, guys. Once you guys are done doing that, you guys are ready to go ahead and open up Grand Theft Auto. So now what we're going to do is go back to our main game directory. We're going to go ahead and open Grand Theft Auto by using Rage Plugin Hook. What you can do now is once it loads up, we're going to hit this settings button here. Once this opens up, we're going to verify that this is at 60,000 is what we want it to be at. If you have a better computer, you guys can always set that at um, 10,000. But I always keep it at 60,000, and I have a pretty decent PC, so I guess it's preference. Anyway, go over to plugins. What you guys are going to want to do now is you guys are going to check EUP menu to make sure it's on your start list, okay? If your computer is not that good, I wouldn't add this there, okay? Because when you go to go on duty, it's going to load this anyway. So... If your computer is decent, go ahead and click EUP menu, and then go ahead and hit save and launch. All right, guys, so now I am going to come back once we are in LSPDFR. All right, guys, so I'm kind of bringing it back a little bit early this time because I want you guys to see the loading process um, be done here. So we've added EUP to our, our boot. So as you guys can see, when the game's loading in with Rage Plugin Hook, it's actually going to load EUP there if everything was done correctly, okay, as you guys can see. Loaded plugin EUP menu, loaded plugin LSPD first response. Okay, if those two things are popping up, we're at a good start. And as long as we actually spawn into the game, we're at another good start. Okay, and it looks like we are going to spawn in. Looks like it's putting us in the actual game. Okay, so let's press F11. And as you guys can see, EUP menu is there. Okay, guys, what you guys can do here is you can go to your characters. And actually create new characters load characters I wouldn't recommend doing it that way though um, you guys can go over here to wardrobes create outfits you guys can go to EUP law and order you guys can look at all the things that are in EUP law and order like patrol division come in here and just press enter on it and as you guys can see it puts the clothing on the actual um, player itself so uh, yeah we I mean we have all these different you know um, uniforms we can put on our 
character. We just keep going back. We can go to detective, special units, metro division, um, BCSO. We got sheriff stuff in here in case you guys want to be a, sh a sheriff. Go to patrol operations, no BCSO. See, like these are really nice uniforms, guys. All right, and then same thing over here with um. Let me press F11 again. Once again, guys, F11 is what opens up your EUP menu. Then you can go down here to Serve and Rescue, and you guys can see everything in Serve and Rescue. You got LSFD. Click in here. Go to Fire Services. We can click on, like, Fire PPE. Look at that, guys. Firemen. Class A. Class B. Class C. And there you guys have it. So I hope this video has actually helped you guys, and I hope you guys didn't have any complications installing EUP. Once again, if you guys ever have any problems installing a mod that I showcase on my channel, don't hesitate. Go ahead and join the Discord. Get some help, okay? We'll help you get it going. Nine times out of ten, it's just somebody doing something as simple as um, missing a step, okay? So, but anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. Until the next one, I'll catch you all later.